Hello again. So today's talk is about how you can reverse your insulin resistance. You've probably been told or heard about insulin resistance. And in a nutshell, before I go any further, let me tell you what insulin resistance is. Basically, your body starts producing so much insulin that the cells stop responding to this insulin. And as a result, you need more and more insulin to get the job done. And of course, insulin's job is to get the glucose levels down. Now, this high insulin level hurts your body. How? It causes atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, high blood pressure, paralyzes your little capillaries as well. So insulin resistance is now recognized as one of the main causes of atherosclerosis. So if you've been told that you have insulin resistance, this is how you're going to reverse it. Number one, you've got to cut out glucose from your diet because it is excessive amounts of glucose in your whole body that is causing insulin resistance. Number two, you've got to cut out sugar the sugar is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Fructose is actually worse for you than glucose because fructose can only be metabolized in one organ, and that's the liver. And in the liver, it gets converted to fat, and this is what gives you the fatty liver. And the fatty liver is a cardinal finding in patients who have insulin resistance. This fatty liver then spills the fats into the abdominal cavity and causes visceral fat. And these are the people who carry most of their weight around the abdomen. Then it gets into the muscles and eventually into the arteries. So the fats that are generated from excessive carbohydrates or excessive fructose gets converted in the liver to these bad fats. So in addition to fructose, you've got to reduce your intake of high fructose corn syrup because this is fructose, basically. It's 55% fructose. And you've got to reduce the amount of fruit juices. It's unnatural to consume so much fructose at one time. If you want, you should eat a seasonal fruit, and that to one fruit a day. Excessive fructose just means eating too much of nature's candy, and it will make your insulin resistance worse. The next step is to reduce the amount of alcohol in your diet, because alcohol and fructose get metabolized through the same mechanism in the liver. It will give you a fatty liver. Next, you must avoid vegetable seed oils. These are the processed seed oils. These seed oils are not really natural, and they cause inflammation in the body and can cause insulin resistance as well. You should avoid trans fats. These are found in all the processed foods. All trans fats and margarines, the trans fats are the partially hydrogenated fat. If you see partially hydrogenated on any processed package, you should eliminate it from your diet because it is purely toxic to your body. Trans fats are still found in processed foods. Don't eat processed foods. Don't eat processed carbohydrates, such as flour or, or bread or biscuits, and cookies, and cake, and all these processed carbohydrates, they cause a severe rise in your insulin level when you consume it. So before you eat anything, you should ask yourself the simple question. Is this product or this food going to increase my insulin levels? And if the answer is yes, you should thoroughly avoid it. So there are also protein shakes that have a high concentration of branched-chain amino acids, which also cause insulin resistance. If you have insulin resistance, please avoid protein shakes, especially the branched-chain amino acids. So the subject is very big, 
but I've made lots of other tapes and videos on insulin resistance. And please tune in, and I'll send more your way. Thank you.